Hardy closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Man. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Nicely done by the opponent. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Mixes it. Oh, on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. Him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Iceman. And now for his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Across all divisions in the octagon, because that one skill he has 
is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise for the knee strike there. Big kick. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a kick down the center. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Three minutes to go. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, big punch land. Single collar tie now. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Back mount now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Less than a minute to go now in our opening round. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that one. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there. It might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. He was landing one for now he's for everything in combination, and they're all landing. Round two next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Shane? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really been out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? Nice loop and punch. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Lands with the right hand. Try to establish that jab. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, collar tie. All right, so there's the takedown game on display, all set up, though, by the hands this time. It has to be set up. You cannot just take blind takedown attempts. You can't shoot. You got to set your opponent up to get that beautiful. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Missed with that right hand. Nice knee to the body by Lee. Oh, nice. 
Nice. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, a huge block there. Nice kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing a smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make it pay for it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Connects with a right. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. And that's the end of round number two. Sit down. Take a deep breath. Now listen, you probably lost that round. I need you to be first. Let's get that head movement and start popping that jab. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up. These guys have to lay in the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh, man, head to land. Clean left punch followed by the right. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And they separate. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Big head kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body up. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Big punch lands through the middle. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing. Oh, one of the best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, nice high kick. Knee to the body. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that ball. That was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Back to the feet now. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Spinning back fist. Vicious combo there. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Big ball from Crutch Land. Now he gets back to range. Slips the punch. And that one certainly found the target. Final seconds of round three. He got the turtle in that kick. Oh. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, 
If he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Great round. Fight. High Great. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. Oh. He's a trouble. He's hurt bad. Big knee to the body. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent get it. Oh, he's hurt. Right away. Back. Circling towards the left now. Look at him with his hip. Look at that kick. Oh! Oh! Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh! Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Just missed with the left there. done there as he escapes back to his feet. Leaves all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Ooh, what a punch. Right, he engages oh! in a single power tie. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nicely done by the opponent. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Mixes it. that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Ready, fight. Ready. Fifth and final round. Nice kick. Nice counter shot there. Big elbow there, Lance. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Lee's kick is blocked. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And a knee. Mixing up his targets. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Nice head kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he lands. Oh! He's a target. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Now goes in and secures the. 
the takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Big elbow. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's going to be busy. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. That's a big strike right there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Right hook to the head block. Nice one, two there. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Oh. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Whoa! He's out! He's done! He's done! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.